Clark. You know what we've realized? Oh. I'm just gonna go into it, babe. Go into it, babe. We've realized that spring cleaning, when you live in a conversion, bus or van, uh, actually usually means spring renovations. It's true, it does. Because we've noticed that it seems like every other channel right now uh, is doing renovations. And after we did our renovation with our keyboard last week, our piano, we kind of got the bug also. Mm -hmm. Started thinking about spring cleaning and that took us to doing renovations. Yep. So this video and tomorrow's video are gonna be about a couple huge projects that we've decided to take on. And then we're gonna do a big reveal of what the entire bus looks like whole once it's tour. all done. Yep. Yep. Uh, so let's get into what we did yesterday. All right, so we've cleaned out completely under the bed. Cats are intrigued, naturally. <laughs> um, and we're gonna have to remove all these studs and take all the bed out. But first, we're gonna have to take everything that we just got to Goodwill, because this is our fifth round of minimizing and we had an unbelievable amount of stuff so much stuff i don't even know how we the had car is stuff. completely full thank god we have the Trunk car to drop this stuff and back off. yeah Ugh. i have no idea how we even had that stuff in the bus so it was good fifth fifth wave of minimizing we want to get to the point where it's like we can't imagine minimizing anymore yeah exactly where we're like we know we don't have stuff that we don't use every single week yeah all right so let's go to goodwill babe let's go babe so this is the car we've been able to use and the back seat is just like completely filled with stuff to get rid of. Um, and then we have like so many, oopsies, we have so many of these plastic bins, so we're gonna get rid of those. These are these really awesome porcelain watermelon bowls, but they're all broken. The bus breaks everything. True so, story. You got time. to not have stuff underneath there to just leave it open and make them look floating like that you know yeah talking design all the way away for the train yeah I think that'd be really cool my big thing for the renovation is I want it to like look clean and airy and I want everything to have an actual place I really hate clutter especially in the bus so do you I would yeah. imagine just you know that's the biggest thing in a small space is to make sure everything has a home and if it doesn't Boat it. I'm gonna open it up, make it uh boat it. Make it more airy, make it feel nicer. Yeah, just that's make the cool it thing about clean. living in the bus is you can redesign it on a on a whim. It seems like we did redesign with the seasons. This is our yeah. spring redesign. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're here at our favorite secondhand store. This is the Habitat for Humanities resource store. This is where they um, bring stuff when they do their Habitat for Humanity houses and I think where they get some of the stuff for those houses too. Mm -hmm. So they have a lot of used awesome like secondhand cabinets and uh, building materials and we were looking at this as an option to put down to build the um, bed frame on. Yeah it's, so it needs to be fairly low to the ground because it's also going to be the couch. So that almost seems that seems pretty perfect so we're going to keep that in mind. I think the bad thing about the other one is that it was so short wasn't it? It was. We'd have to on the back of it there'd be overhang. All right, let's keep looking around. This seems like it'd be like the exact size we would want the couch to be. It does. It does exactly. It's like exactly the right I mean, size I think for half of the bed. We can make this work. I'll we'll have to get creative, and I'll probably I'll probably put stuff in here, and then I'll probably workshop it as we go. You know. Okay. Well, let's keep looking around. We'll come back to. It. What should we do? What about this one, hun? Well, there's no doors on it. What do you think, babe? I think this is gonna work. Twenty bucks. Are you going to want to paint it or are you going to want to do natural? Um, it's pretty. It's in that nice maple. Mm -hmm. We'll see if we get the, the maple accent above it or not. That'll kind of determine that. Oh yeah, that would be cute. I do think it's pretty. I have to ask you something important. Have you found the one? I found the one. This is your one? This is my one. Slurp. Slurp, three quarter inch. It's a big old thick plywood. It's the most expensive thing in this whole build. Are we in your favorite place in the world, babe? It's one of my favorite spots. It oh, looks good it. on camera, too. This is actually his genuine happy place. Power tools.
Strawberry break. Strawberry. It's funny doing the bus again because we're seeing stuff we haven't seen, parts of our bus we haven't seen in almost a year. Almost a year. And you know, things we would have done differently if we had more time. Don't but do it. Look what we do now. Have Got our couch situation, dresser, undercarriage storage. <laughs> we'll show you guys the whole thing once it's done. Not totally sure what we're doing with this whole situation. It's a little flirty. Need some trim to hold that up so it's completely even, but we got yeah. some trim over here. Sure do. I want to talk about. Tell us, baby. <laughs> like when you do big cleaning and renovations in a small space and you don't really have the outside where you can just kind of put everything. Yeah, that it makes it tricky. It gets so <laughs> overwhelmingly dirty so fast. Like it's kind of like rearranging your whole kitchen, but only having your kitchen to take everything out and put everything, you know? <laughs> so then like you're just stuck with literal piles, piles yeah. of stuff that we had to sort through and put back in place. All the wood we had to figure out. We've reused a lot of the wood, but. I also want to say, um, let's talk about why we decided to do this. Okay. We, um, so basically my opinion, I've been thinking about this a lot. If somebody were to ask me, what's your number one design tip for a small space? I would say keep it as open as possible. You know, when we first did this bus conversion, I think you kind of have the mentality of like separate rooms because that's usually the houses or the apartments that you've lived in are all sectioned out. Um, but I would say rather than trying to like make a little closed in area for your bedroom or closed in area for your kitchen, like just make it a big open studio because after a while of being in such a tight space, you're going to want to get the most out of it as, as possible. So yeah, we decided to take the walls down, cutting you off there. No more walls. No more walls down here. So that when we're in the bedroom, there's no need for us to have the bedroom separated. We like to be in the same space together anyways. Yep. We wake up and go to bed together. Um, so we really didn't need the bed to be separate, but it just makes it so that like it, it literally feels massive in here and we're not even done, but just taking the walls out feels like huge. That's yeah. all. It, it really has. So today, or tomorrow, I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to build some shelves, get all the other stuff put in, build an awesome accent wall right behind us. So make sure you uh, check out tomorrow's video also. Going to be finishing it all up, putting all the finishing touches on. We're going to get some great paint for her and yes. some cool stain. I'm going to paint a lot of white stuff in here. Why white? I don't know. He thinks it's going to get dirty, which it probably will, but I think it looks nice and bright. It does. Oh, and one other thing, we decided to lower our bed so much. We probably lowered it, what, two and a half, three feet? Yeah. So yeah, it, it was a higher bed, um, and then we had tons of storage underneath it. That was not great for two reasons. One, because there was a lot of stuff under the bed that we could never get to. We honestly forgot that we ever had it, and yeah. it just weighed the bus down when we were driving. The other thing is, now that it's getting into summertime again, since re re since heat rises, it was making it so hot in the bed so area. So hot. It was just this muggy, hot area of the bus. It was like the hottest place of the whole bus, which was great in the wintertime, but yeah. now that it's summer, not so great. Um, so yeah, we lowered it significantly, and I just think it's like more of like a zen, sleep in, Open close vibe. to earth vibe. And the cats like it. Yep. Which that's all that matters. Oh, I think that's going to do it for this one. I think so. So, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Ring the bell if you want the notifications. You guys know all that. Um, we have a Patreon video dropping any day now. We're not going to actually put it out there that we're posting them on Tuesday or Wednesday. Just one Patreon video per week. Our schedules constantly change. Yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> we can't um, do that with ourselves. I know. We, we don't really have a, a routine like that. It's kind of just like every day is a new a new slate. But one Patreon, Patreon, only, Patreon only video per week. We'll be dropping that today or tomorrow. And Sundays, don't forget to check out our live chats at 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Yep. Um, also, oh yeah, check I wanted out. to say something real quick, just real quick about Amazon affiliates. Okay. If you shop through Amazon, a lot of people don't know that there's a really a free way that you can hook us up with some commission on all your purchases. If you just shop through our links that are down here for the things that we have that you know, like the solar panels and stuff we built the bus out with. Or Just whatever. click on those. If you don't want the product, that's fine, but you can shop through those links and it'll kick us back a little bit. Yeah, finish. exactly. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, and also if you want to check out these are like all just plugging in, just plugging in like crazy. It. Um, gotta pay for this renovation somehow. Right. <laughs> um, if you haven't already checked out livingzeal.com, we have a how to guide on building your own bus conversion. He wrote a book. I'm working on another book. Lots of cool stuff there. Yeah, so check that out. And we'll, uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow for the rest of this renovation. Bye, guys. Thank you so much. We love you. Love you. Bye.